previously in the Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke. I decided why not, you know, go through Mount Ember, which is uh, basically all we're doing. Hopefully this doesn't go too fast, because otherwise that'll kind of suck. In that case, I guess we're going to try to catch Moltres, and we got it. Okay, we got Moltres. And now the adventure continues. What's up guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we kind of had a little bit of a filler. Um, we went through the Mount Ember, and we had caught Moltres, and that was kind of it. We kind of talked a bit, but other than that, there wasn't too much done. Uh, in today's episode, though, we are going to be starting our journey through the Elite Four. We're going to be taking on the first two members, Today, next episode we will be taking on the last two members, and then on Friday we will be taking on the champion. I've grinded everyone up to what just happened. Okay, I accidentally used strength. Um, I grinded everyone up to level 60, so we're here with Romzin, level 60 with Flame Wheel, Strength Crunch, and Thunderfang. We've got Jetstream with Signal Beam Fly, Night Slash, and Ancient Power. We've got Nexus with Surf, Double Slap, Play Rough, and Dizzy Punch. We've got Paula with Thunder Punch, Power Ballad, Wild Charge, and Cross Chop. We've got Mr. Low with Surf, Seed Bomb, Drain Punch, and Leech Seed. And finally, we've got Livy with Dusty Devil, Earthquake, Crunch, and Dragon Dance. I finally got rid of uh, Rock Smash eight years later, but this is it. This is the end of our journey, you guys. And we're going to be taking on the first member of the Elite Four. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to say, like, oh, I'm supposed to actually go through the puzzle? Cool. Alright. Oh no. It's gonna be horrible, isn't it? No, 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 no. There we go. Alrighty. Perfect. That was an art. Okay, ice type. In that case, um. Gonna put you over there. And, uh, I think this is gonna be a good setup. Welcome, trainer. What you've experienced on your journey is unique. Anyone can conquer the gyms and traverse the Seneca Caverns, but no one could have would have done what you have. Your use of unique uh, you're, you, you're as unique as a crystallized snowflake, fluttering and tumbling through the cold mountain air on the winter's morning. I'm Yuki, the master ice trainer of Naho, and your first opponent in the region leap. Put your best foot forward. Okay. Here's the beginning of the Elite Four, you guys. Hopefully, um, the Elite Four won't be too easy where we're kind of beating it really fast. Um, everyone's level 60. Lance's highest level Pokemon's like 65. So I think level 60 should work for us. Um, hopefully we're not too overleveled for most of this. 53, we are clearly very high leveled. Um, hopefully that won't phase, you know, that won't make it too easy for us. With that Earthquake, it definitely is not going to be um, super easy, but the Mammoth Swine's dead, so first Mon down. Um, I'm pretty sure each Elite Four member has five Pokemon, and then um, Lance will have, I think, six? I think a full team of six. I definitely think Lance is going to be hard, the hardest battle. Um, I don't know the types of the, uh, Elite Four members, so we're just gonna kind of, like, figure that out as we go. Um, just gonna go with Dust Devil. We could go for some Dragon Dances, and speed, but let's just Dust Devil right here and now. And there we go. Perfect. Alrighty. Beautiful. Okay. Weavile. Oh, no. Um, um, I should probably go into Romzen, so I'm gonna heal up. 54, alrighty. This shouldn't be too hard. Um, pressure, uh, the usual. The hail is gonna be a pain for most of the battles. Um, I didn't get any full restores, so we only have full heals. Night Slash, please don't do a lot of damage. It does not. Perfect. The hail is not going to be a big deal. Um, we're going to go for a Flame Wheel. Go for hail. Fails. Uh, flame Wheel should hopefully kill Weavile's fragile as shit. 
Super effective. There we go. Perfect. All right. That is three mons down. And uh, two more to go. Glaceon can't really touch us in the slightest. The hail is going to be a bit more of a pain. Definitely going to be a pain in our asses. Hopefully we can Oko. Um, hopefully. I'm really hoping. I don't think we're going to... Oh, okay. Nope. Shadow Ball. Wow. Um, is that going to hurt? It's not hurting too much. I haven't used the speed button yet, so we're uh, doing pretty good. Okay. Well, we're going to heal up Ronson. There we go. Max Potion. First Max Potion used. Going to Flame Wheel. I'm actually, if I'm being 100% uh, honest, I'm actually very excited uh, to reach the end of Pokemon Prism. I have loved this game. Um, Pokemon Prism has definitely helped me get out of the bit of a rut that Omicron left us in. Um, obviously, upload schedule was not the best while towards the end of, um, towards the latter half of Omicron, and that was completely my fault. I was just not into, my heart was just not into that game. Um, after the first region, uh, I probably shouldn't have tried to do it, like, past the first region. Um, that was kind of uh, probably my mistake. Uh, we're not going to be doing that for Prism just because the after game has not been finished. Um, the post game was not finished because of the season assist. So, we're just going to go with what we've got. And with that, we have beaten the first member of the Elite Four, but... It's only been six minutes, so hopefully the Elite Four won't be too fast. Um, I'm really hoping it won't be. What a way to break the ice. By outlasting and overcoming my, uh, I don't know, my sly onslaught, you have proven that you and your Pokemon can withstand anything. Go on to the next room. Your next challenge awaits. All right, with that, uh, we're going to heal up. But like I was saying, um, hopefully... Uh, with Storm Silver, it will not be too big of a rut. What type are you gonna use? Um, dungeon, Rock. I'm gonna assume Rock or Dark, maybe? So, I'm gonna put Mr. Low up front, just to be safe. Mr. Low can kind of, like, really do anything. How you doing, trainer? Or should I say, challenger? There we go. That has a better written sound to it. I'm Sora, the flying Pokemon trainer of the region, so I was wrong entirely. I probably should have figured by the, the hat that she has, but I don't know. You've made it past the first gate, but it's only going to get more difficult from here on out. Bucko. Try not to get blown away by my sheer power. Alright. This isn't too big of a issue. Dun 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 dun. Okay, starting off with a Gyarados. Um, not that bad, actually. Um, out of all of the Pokemon we could have had. So I'm going to Leaf Seed it, just because we can. And uh, having Libby out probably wouldn't be a good idea. Dragon Dances are scary, though. Um, Dragon Dances are definitely scary. So I'm going to try to Seed Bomb this thing. Crunch probably isn't going to hurt too much. I was wrong. That was a crit, though. And my defense fell. Great. Seed Bomb, please do some damage. Did nothing. Um, we're switching out of here. Uh, Nexus is probably our best bet. Uh, because this thing may be carrying Earthquake, which will not help us. We resist the crunch. Does nothing. Our defense has fell, though, so that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Dizzy Punch. Earthquake shouldn't do too much damage. We can eat that. We've got a bunch of HP. We're bulky. We barely ate it, but we ate it nonetheless. Uh, the Gyarados is down. Perfect. Uh, I should probably go into Paula, to be honest, for the rest of this. Uh, Driftwind. Yeah, go into Paula. Let's go into Paula. Paula, coming out. Oh, look at that sprite. I love it. That's beautiful, actually. Electivire is going to Thunder Punch. Hopefully take it out. There we go. Probably gonna be Oko and things uh, for the most part of this Elite Four stuff. Which probably it can be either way. Like it can go either way. Um, this Gliscor though. 
probably we're gonna have to go into Nexus. Look at that Gliscor. I love Gliscor. But anywho, um, like I was saying earlier, though, um, I'm very excited to start the Egglock, which again, uh, I hate to sound like a broken record, but if you guys have not sent in any eggs, I highly recommend you guys do. Uh, obviously, it makes the game a lot more fun. Um, I think we have a full box and then two rows in box two. So I think that's what, 42 eggs? That sounds right. So probably 42 eggs. Um, I probably should have gone for a surf because it would have been super effective. Badly poisoned though is not going to be fun. So got the confusion though. But yeah, um, please, please, please you guys do send in some eggs. Um, I would love for you guys to be able to send an egg. Um, I understand the people who can't. Obviously, to send in the eggs, you kind of need to have uh, a computer. Pokegen doesn't work on your phone as far as I know, so... Um, you're gonna have to have a computer some uh, some they perform. Um, I probably should have linked Pokegen, if I'm being honest. Um, I probably should have mentioned that. I'll probably kind of put that in the description, but for those of you who have sent eggs, um, like, I guess the best way to say is that if you guys don't, like, if you guys haven't seen a tutorial on how to hatch the eggs, maybe your best bet would be to go check out the first episode of the Blaze Black 2 egg lock and or the first episode of the Blaze Black egg lock because those are kind of the best uh, places, um, I did the send in your eggs a little better than I did last time, or just this last time, so, um, probably should have done that a little better, I admit that, I was, uh, I did, I probably should have, um, I made a mistake, in my opinion, I probably made a mistake in being dumb, but, sometimes, uh, you know, live and learn, oh, that sandstorm is going to screw us over, I used the speed button, do I have a full restore? Leftovers. I probably should have put the lefties on somebody. But anywho, I'm gonna full restore. Or not full restore, I'm gonna... Oh, that's a sky attack, alright. In that case, I'm gonna use that to do my poison next. If the sandstorm could end, that would be lovely. Sky attack's gonna hurt. That hurt. That actually did hurt. Alright, that's gonna be, uh, pain. They're le it's level 58, I just kind of noticed that, but... Anywho, can I heal up? Another sky attack incoming. Uh, the sandstorm's gone. I'm going to go for a dizzy punch because it's uh, super effective. Um, I think this episode's gonna be kind of short. I do apologize for that, but we are beating the second member of the Elite Four. That went by way faster than we should. I probably shouldn't have grinded up as high as I did. Uh, so I do kind of apologize for that. But, anywho. Seriously, not many trainers can overpower me, but I'm glad you got the good vibe. If you defeated me, then you and your Pokemon have the inner strength and power to overcome the challenges of the league. Congratulations, Challenger. Who wants the next opponent? Alright. So I guess we're gonna go get to the next opponent. Oh, he's just right there. Okay, well then I guess in that case, uh, we are going to have to end the episode here, guys. Uh, that is two members of the Elite Four down, a lot faster than I thought. I definitely think these next two may last a little longer, but with that, we are going to be getting out of here, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash the like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and pause right in that PC party. Share it with your friends, follow me on Twitter at PC Webmaster, join the Discord, link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am PC Webmaster, and I will see you guys next time.